All right, guys, I guess I set these in the rust remover and I don't know, it took a lot of the rust off, turned it black. I soaked them in WD just because I couldn't get to them for a week. Now I can get to them. Crestology, which Crescent Tool, this was way back in the day. These are probably 1930s. They're a little damaged. I'm gonna see if I can fix that. First, take it to the wire wheel and see what we can come up with. All right, that was just the fiber wheel. That's what it looks like just on the fiber wheel. It actually buffs pretty good with the fiber wheel. I think that one's a 600 grit. The other one's a 400 grit. But I'm just gonna give it a light polish and go from there. See what this looks like. harder to do than it looks.
trying to see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Huh. You know, I'm wondering if somebody didn't do this before me. That's why the handles are so close together. But why would they have flattened them? They close. But why are they flat? Oh, you can see I took a lot. Look at that. You can see, this is the side I just did right here. Compared to that one. Hmm. Well, I'm going to stop there. I, I really, you know, this is just for like grabbing a top of a nail or something because now they're really ruined. They're not, someone, that's why they're so close together, I think, because somebody has ground these down. I'm wondering if I can put a sharp, edge on one side oh well let's try the worst worst I can do is screw it up I mean I've got lucky and profiled one a, a couple days ago trying to go really slow and put a little pressure get a piece of wire see if it cuts oh yeah it cuts all right cool I got it sharp enough to cut this is that baling wire that twine wire that I keep around well shoot that'll work all right See what I did on the. All right, come on, camera. Yeah, I profiled them enough to where they cut. All right, that'll work. All right, guys, I am going to blue these, or part of it, anyways. And. I was gonna go get a piece of cotton, 
or some ear swabs or something, but it's raining outside and I'm not walking to the shop, to the out of the shop, to the house. So, I'm using my old trusty paintbrush again. Plus I can get a little better detail with this thing. I went ahead, cleaned it with uh, the metal real good with carburetor cleaner instead of denatured alcohol because that's what I use. I keep carburetor cleaner on my on my uh, on my toolboxes in my trucks, uh, edge of my shop table. Denatured alcohol I keep in one place. And yeah, I know you're supposed to use it for this kind of job, but to clean it, but I use carburetor cleaner. It seems to evaporate faster for me, so that's what I use. Like I said, use what you like, guys. There's people out there that tell you all different sorts of things. If you find something that you're, you're comfortable with, go with it. Nobody out there is going to shoot you if you don't. Getting shot at's overrated anyways. I'm wondering if I can do the inside. I may have to repolish the top on this. Look how instantly it changes color. Does a good job. And these are these are older and they're probably not really worth much and most people wouldn't use these. When they see these they don't use them. Uh, these are great nail pullers. I meant they are brad nails, tacks, Things like that, oh, they're great for that. There's a spot there for some reason. Didn't didn't take didn't take color. And then after after I give these a good rub down with the steel wool, I'll let them sit for a while and then I'll come back and uh, coat them with a little bit of three and, one, 3 and 1 oil. That seems to work the best. I tried different oil and it, I don't know what it is about the 3 and 1, it seems to take better into the uh, metal. It says to let it sit for 30 seconds and then wipe dry. Uh, there's no need on something like this. I'm not going to coat it twice. And this bluing, one coat seems to do very, very well. I, I've done up to three coats and really can't tell that much difference. Well, I say that on some metals. Some metals it takes better than others, but on this, the black took so well, I don't, I don't see a problem. Take these gloves, this glove off. I wonder, did I miss a spot right there? I did, I did, I did. I mean, I use that little paintbrush and it works great, I know, uh, People say to use a cotton swab and uh, 357 Magdad or Magdad 357. I always say 357 Magdad. His channel, he, he uses cotton swabs. Uh, my wife gets mad when I steal them, so. 
I just used the paintbrush. It says to wipe, I think it said one pass dry, but you know how hard it is to get one pass dry? And that there's another problem, getting in, sorry, getting into uh, in between I'm just going to let it sit here and air dry for a little bit and then come back and uh, use steel wool on them. It should, look, it should look pretty good. I don't even know. I may not even put... Uh, <coughs> I was going to cover the handles with some black... Uh, oh, what do you call that stuff? I'll show you in a minute. I've lost train of thought. I'll come back in a minute. Alright, little steel wool here. Sorry, I gotta take my glasses off. These things get irritating after a while. You can see, see the difference in the blue, see what the, the, pa the, the paper, the steel wool does, see how it polishes up a little bit, and then that's just the flat. Look at all the fuzz, look at all the magnetism to it there. All right, I think what I'm gonna do inside is I'm gonna use this wire, well I was gonna use this little brass brush I thought. I may have to repolish the top of this thing. Yeah, that's gonna be, wait a minute, I've got another, hang on, I've got another little brass a little brass brush here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let me uh, finish cleaning them off and I'm gonna run over the buffer real quick just to buff off the spots here I got on the edges. And I thought what I was gonna do, hang on, hang on, hang on. What I thought I was going to do, and I may not do it, I may leave them, I don't know, talking myself in and out of things here. I've got some, some of this uh, heat shrink tubing. Oh, it's going to take the big stuff. Man, I should have ordered a whole bunch more of this bigger stuff. You know, it won't look bad. 
Ah, oh, heck with it. I'll use. I'll do the heat shrink tubing. Just why not? It'll look good. It'll look good. I wonder. I've got some other, and I think this stuff's too small too. Yeah, this stuff's too small. Well, that really stinks. I should have bought bigger. Well, I didn't know what I needed when I bought it. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, let's, uh, I got it lined up about where I want them. Let's just heat them up, see where it goes. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me cut the end off. All right. All right. They, uh, I trimmed the ends off. Come back. Throw a coat of wax on this. I'll even throw a coat of wax on the heat shrink tube in here. Should have put some oil on this, but I'm never going to use these at all. Well, I say I'm never going to use these. Uh, probably wind up just taking these to work. I've got another pair, but uh, those are really, really nice shape. And these are just old junky ones. I might throw this in my spare toolbox, and if somebody needs it, I'll have it. I think that's what I'll probably do. You know, that polished better than I thought. I wasn't even planning on doing that much of a polish job on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Crescent, Cressology. And you can see there's there's pitting. I mean, come on. They're, these things are probably 75, 80 years old. Uh, they do cut. 
I, te I checked them. I reprofiled them. I was surprised. I did a good job. That's the second one in the last two weeks I've done. And yeah, you can see Jamestown, New York, USA. And then you can see it on this side. Uh, the bluing took well. I like the heat shrink tubing. It looks factory. I mean, that really looked. And what I did on the end after I cut them, I go on the uh, fiber wheel and I trim it real slowly with the fiber wheel. So, yeah, looks good. I think for, uh, you know, I got less than two dollars. I might have like 60 cents in these, something like that. I don't have much. I have to go back. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It's it's little or nothing. It's just my time. Uh, you know, tools are expensive, so anytime you can pick something up and clean it up and make it good, usable uh, tool out of it, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Are you like me? You think I think somebody has also cut these down some because I don't think they're. I don't think these are supposed to be this close. The other pairs I got have a gap in them of probably almost two fingers, which two fingers would mean that much taken down. And I took some, but not as much as, oh well, they're good pliers. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you would. Tell me if you had to keep them, would you have wasted your time? I think it turned out all right. It's a good tool now. If I ever need it, I got it. Like I said, I think these are gonna go in my spare toolbox at work. All right, guys. Y'all have a good day.